Hey guys, Noah Kiani here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a mouth-watering pizza from scratch that is low in carb, paleo friendly, keto friendly, requires only a few ingredients, and it is absolutely delicious. The first thing that I'm gonna do before I do anything is I'm gonna set up the oven at 450. So let's go ahead and do that. While my oven is heating up, let me show you how to make the crust for this pizza. I'm gonna take my pre-washed cauliflower and a cheese grater and I'm gonna grate my cauliflower to make two cups of it. Uh, you can use a food processor for this, but I find using a cheese grater is a lot easier and then you have a lot less dishes to wash when you're done. Okay, so right here I've got two cups of cauliflower. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze out all the moisture. You don't have to do that, this is an optional step but I find that it makes your crust a lot crispier. I've got my cauliflower in a clean tea towel. I'm gonna to go ahead and squeeze out all the moisture. And now I'm gonna add two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese to the cauliflower. All right, so right here I've got two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese along with two cups of cauliflower. To this, I'm gonna add two whole eggs, one tablespoon of chia seeds, and one tablespoon of almond flour. And now I'm just cutting out my parchment paper so it matches the shape of my round baking sheet. And now I'm transferring all my ingredients onto the baking sheet and I'm pressing it down with my hands so that it looks just like the pizza crust. I'm gonna use both my hands and I'm pressing it down. And there it is, it looks just like the pizza crust. I've got my crust right here. I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 450 degrees. Wow, check it out. So it's been about 10 minutes and it is looking really good. As far as the toppings are concerned, guys, you can use whatever you like. I'm using all natural salsa instead of tomato sauce, then some more mozzarella cheese on top, and then I'm gonna add some pre-cut washed mushrooms, and then some pre-cooked chicken breast for some added protein, and then some pre-washed spinach. I love spinach. So I'm just adding that on top. And then I'm going to add some more mozzarella cheese because I love cheese. You can't go wrong with that. And then this is what it should look like right before it goes into the oven. And there it is. Doesn't it look delicious? Oh man, the smell of it is making me so hungry. Again, this is keto friendly, low carb, paleo friendly, so delicious. Thanks again for stopping by my kitchen. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you guys can keep enjoying these delicious recipes on my channel. And I'll see you next time.